the 10th beta version of iOS 11 is now available for developers to try out, with the 9th public beta also being released. There are no new front-facing features and it's a 40 megabytes download, according to Neowin. The publication also warns that if users are upgrading from earlier betas, such as 5 or 6 which translate to public beta 4 or 5 there may be problems installing the new build. In order to prevent it from stalling indefinitely, users should delete the seed causing the problem and then reinstall the beta. Access to the developer beta is available for users who have a developer account, which costs $99 a year, and the next beta installment can be downloaded from Apple's developer website. If you're not a developer, you can enroll in Apple's public beta program and try it out that way. iOS 11 was unveiled at WWDC in June and is compatible with iPhone 5S and above, iPad 5th generation and above, and iPod Touch 6th generation devices. It's worth backing up your device before installing any beta software, or any updates to the builds, in case something goes wrong. Make sure you save any photos you value elsewhere too. If you want to return to iOS 10, simply connect your device to a Mac, open up iTunes, and restore a previous version of the software from any backups made before updating. This week the iPhone 8 is set to launch, which is when we should learn the official release date of iOS 11.